A Cell Story by Santosh P. Tristan W. Darwin V. The STD Production. This video is for science purposes only, and meant for people with cells. If you don't have cells, you're either dead or in the oven. Either way, we are not responsible for seizures, explosive diarrhea, and vomiting. Your discretion is advised. Once upon a time, in your body, not too long ago, lived a happy little place, or very little place, called Cellular Village. They had different organelles with different functions to keep the community high and strong. They pretty much had everything. Hello, my name is Mr. Cellier. I'll be your tour guide for today. Cellier Village has a great gatekeeper that no outsider can surpass, also known as a cell membrane. It's very thin, however, it's very strong and won't let trespassers pass through. It only lets nutrients and waste come in and out of the cell. Here is an example of what will happen if a virus comes by and attacks the membrane. The cell membrane doesn't work alone. The cell membrane has companions also known as cilia. They are sense towers which help the village move toward food sources by working together. This is important because without it, the village wouldn't know where to get the food and wouldn't have the force to move it toward it. As you go further in the city, you'll see all the citizens, also known as cytoplasm. They are hard workers of the village, keeping everything in place. The citizens help to keep the community strong by transporting. Other than the cytoplasm, you can see assemblers and transporters working together to read and assemble protein molecules and carry it to the cytoplasm. The assemblers are known as ribosomes, and the ones that carry throughout the cytoplasm is the endoplasm reticulum. What are we doing today? Well today we're reading and assembling specific protein molecules and making sure the proteins are organized. We also have sanitation engineers which clean the messes that are made. They are also known as limosomes. They break down large pieces of molecules into smaller ones. There aren't just people in the community, there are also buildings. Without, without the buildings, the village could not function properly. As you can see, the vacuum was nowhere to be found. That is because it is located underground. It is an underground storage room used to store water and nutrients such as sugar and minerals, etc. In the village, there has to be a place where things are packaged or a factory. This place is also known as the Goji Apparatus. Here, the protein is stored and is packaged up. The purpose of this is to release protein molecules to the surface of the cell for release to the outside. In this community, most of the energy comes from the power plant, which is also named as the mitochondria. It provides energy for all parts of the cell to keep it active. The energy that the mitochondria re releases is combined with sugar with oxygen to form carbon dioxide and water. The most important role in the community is the king, also known as the nucleus. His job is to control all the cell's activities. In the community, there is a very important and special place to all the citizens in Cellular Village. The library, this is also known as chromosomes. Each book in the library contains information on everything you need to know. Each book in the library contains construction plans for all the pieces of the cell. The community was very strong until one day. One ordinary day in Cellular Village, everything was going to, according to plan. But there's one important piece of information that we forgot. It was the antivirus, also known as the antibodies. This was an important part that attacked any incoming villains or virus. Its name was Viro. They're also known as the virus. It caused the cell to become ill and slowly rot. Its only hope of protection is the antibodies.
That day, he was wandering around when he heard the alarm go off. Wait, what's that noise? <laughs> Soldiers, prepare yourselves. Ready for battle. It's been a long time.